Number 10 um, is a seemingly tricky question um, that's actually relatively simple. It's just kind of asked in a tricky way. For what values of p does the series tan of n to the p So we have tan of n to the p. For what values of p does that converge? Well, what you want to do for this type of problem is we don't really have rules or ways that we can easily look at sums of trig functions. So we want to change this into one of our regular functions, but we can really easily do that with the limit comparison test. So remember the limit comparison test says if you take the limit as n goes to infinity, of two series and it's equal a finite positive number, then those have the same convergence or divergence. So we want to compare tan of n to the p to something that will give us a finite positive number. And we can definitely do that by choosing n to the p. Because tan theta over theta, in this case, is going to be uh, equal to 1. So that is, keep in mind, that's as long as these are fractions because this, this n to the p term has to be going to 0. So <clears throat> you can see here that if p is any power greater, well, first of all, if p is 0, we would get just tangent of 1. Tangent of 1 is a constant. And if you just summed up a constant, you would never converge. So p equals 0 certainly can't work. <clears throat> if p was any number greater than 0, we'd have tan of n to some power. We're increasing that power. Tangent is a, a function that repeats kind of often. It, it would be very difficult to determine anything that's going on. It would alternate weirdly and all kinds of stuff it's probably not going to happen. But to make sure that we know for negative powers it could work, we can use this, uh, this identity. So therefore, now let's look at this. Uh, just look at this series instead. So now we're going to look at n to the p. Keep in mind, like I said, this is only for p less than 0. So, if we're looking at this one and we know p is less than 0, we can think of this as this is always going to be the reciprocal. So this is going to be 1 over n to the something. And that's exactly our p-series test. You know this is only true. This converges if p is less than negative 1. So we need a power on the denominator that's bigger than 1 for this to converge. And we know that by our p-series test. So therefore, if we want, if this converges if p is less than or equal to negative 1, this converges if p is less than or equal to negative 1 by the limit comparison test. So we get p less than negative 1 <clears throat> for our answer there, which is answer choice D.